Hello there. I've been trying to get this transmitter. This is a FlySky FSI6 connected to my computer so that I can use it for flight simulators. And I wasn't able to find a decent resource on how to exactly do that. So I figured I would make this and if it helps anybody, please uh, let me know. So you'll need, uh, so there are two kind of main options. The first one is you can actually buy uh, receivers that go with this transmitter that plug directly into your computer via USB. Um, and those are, I don't know, $10, $15, something like that. Um, but I found a much easier and, for me, way cheaper option. Um, so uh, all you're going to need for this way of doing it is two different types of cables. The first one is going to connect up to the back of this thing. So if you see right at the back here, there is an S-Video port uh, that has those four pins and then the one on the outside. Um, so the end that I had to find was this guy. I don't know if you can see that so well. Let's see if we can focus. <laughs> anyway, so it's got the four pins there. Um, there are some that have much more pins and, and uh, anything, but uh, this is the one you'll need. So that's the first thing you need. And the second thing you need is uh, very common. Everybody has these. They are just the uh, three and a half millimeter jacks. And it can come from anything. I've got an old uh, microphone here that I could have used, um, some extenders, you know, whatever. Um, so I ended up using an extender. And uh, so the first thing I did was cut both of those so that I could connect something to them. So uh, when I cut the S-Video cable, uh, there's actually only two wires that are coming from the, on the end of that thing. There is a red one and a black one. The black one is ground. The red one is signal. And then when I cut one of these open, this one has the three segments you can see there, and most of the ones that you're going to find have that. Uh, there were three wires in the inside. You can see them here. I don't know how well the colors are going to show up, but the one in the middle is kind of golden, the one on the right is red, and the one on the left is blue. Um, so I did some digging online, and the golden one for me is ground, and the blue one is uh, what would normally be connected to the tip of this, the, the very front of this guy. And that's the signal wire, and that's the one that you're going to want to connect to. So all I did was I went and I soldered uh, this end. So in my case, I would solder the uh, black cable from the, S, the black side from the S video cable. Wow, it's not focusing, whatever. The black side from this one to the uh, golden one over here, and the red one from the uh, S video cable to the blue one on that one. So I just went over there and quickly threw that together with some solder. And uh, please, please uh, <laughs> avert your eyes. It looks awful, whatever. I don't have any electrical tape. <laughs> it works. It's totally, it works fine. Um, so then all I'm going to do is plug this guy into here. Let me get this right. So we plug that guy in. And then we're going to plug the headphone, or the, the three and a half millimeter jack, into the microphone port on the computer. So that can either be, um, in my case, it's I've got it connected up to my keyboard, but it could just be directly into the back of the, of the computer too. Um, and so you want to look for the pink microphone port. Um, so you plug that side in there, this side into the controller, and then you'll need, uh, well, two pieces of software. One is going to be the actual flight simulator, and the other one is this software here. It's called Smart Propo Plus. It's free and open source and all that good stuff. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description of this video to where to get that. And all that does is turn your uh, the, the stuff coming into the microphone port uh, into a USB controller. So you can see here whenever I move um, the stick you can see it's registering my inputs pretty well. Uh, you know this one if I move you can see those are all going up so those are the six channels that this uh, can output and they're all being processed properly. So uh, the flight simulator that I'm using is called FPV Freerider. You can see it right there. Um, but you could use any one that takes a USB controller. So we're going to load that one up, and then we're going to set our controller over here to the input as a USB controller, and then go through the whole calibration step. It's, it's pretty simple. It walks you through it pretty nicely. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, so just we can start it up and try it out here. So um, you can see whenever I push up on this thing, we're going up, and we're going forward, doing some flips, all that good stuff. So uh, 
it's apparently a really good idea before you get into quadcopter flying to spend some time on simulators. So uh, yeah, that's how to get it hooked up and it should work for any sim. Uh, I haven't bought this one and I will actually because it's only five bucks or something or ten dollars or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll work with pretty much any simulator you want and then you can get some good practice in before actually uh, wrecking your quad <laughs> out in the field. All right, let me know if this has been, uh, if you've had any issues with this at all, let me know, and uh, otherwise if it's uh, beneficial to you. Um, yep, so have an awesome, uh, awesome flight, I guess. <laughs>